In this video, we will take a look at simplifying compound fractions that have binomials. Simply put, the LCD could have one or more binomials in it. Let's take a look at some examples that have binomials in them. In this problem, we see the binomial x minus 2 in several denominators. This means the least common denominator needs to have that x minus 2 factor in it. We could multiply each term by the x minus 2. This includes the 3 being multiplied by x minus 2. Each of the fractions, then, the x minus 2 factor will divide out completely. This leaves us with a 5 in the numerator, and 3 times x minus 2 plus another 2 in the denominator. Distributing in the denominator, we have 5 over 3x minus 6 plus 2. And then combining like terms to get our final answer, 5 over 3x minus 4. Let's try another example that's a little more involved, where we have binomials in the denominators that we need to clear. In this problem, you see the x minus 9, the x plus 9, the x plus 9, and the x minus 9. There are several different factors here that need to be represented in the LCD. There's an x minus 9 factor and an x plus 9 factor. Both are needed as we multiply each term by x minus 9, x plus 9, x minus 9, x plus 9, x minus 9, x plus 9 x minus 9, x plus 9. And then we can go back and divide out those factors with what we find in the denominators. The x minus 9 divides out of the first fraction. The x plus 9 divides out of the second. Another x plus 9 dividing out of the third. And an x minus 9 dividing out of the fourth. This means we're left with an x times x plus 9, plus a 5 times x minus 9 over an x times x minus 9 minus 5 times x plus 9. To simplify, let's multiply out the numerator and denominators by distributing the monomials through the binomials. This gives us x squared plus 9x plus 5x minus 45 over x squared minus 9x minus 5x minus 45. By combining like terms, we get x squared plus 14x minus 45 over x squared minus 14x minus 45. If we wanted to reduce, we would need to look at this expression to see if either the numerator or denominator factored to divide out common factors. We cannot cross off the x's, the 14's, or the 45's because of the addition and subtraction in there. It must be factored first. Turns out that this problem cannot factor in either the numerator or the denominator. Because it cannot factor, it cannot reduce. This is going to be our final solution. If we have a binomial in our denominators, that binomial is simply part of our least common denominator, and we continue to clear the small fractions by multiplying each term by the LCD.